It is an honor and a great lot of fun to be a part of the 35th anniversary season of Discover Wisconsin. What a celebration. Just like the 34 years before this one, we are out as a team already creating great stories to share with you about the wonderful people, places, and things that make this the best state to hang out in. Thank you for being a part of our journey. Sheboygan County is the rare Wisconsin destination that's home to globally recognized companies and world-renowned activities. Today on Discover Wisconsin, we share why the families who've lived here for generations and visitors like you can't help but fall in love with Sheboygan County. Hello and welcome to Discover Wisconsin. Welcome to Sheboygan County. Where else can you start your day with a charter fishing expedition, spend the afternoon golfing on some of the world's best courses, or watching a major racing championship and capping it all off by tucking in for a spectacular meal that tastes like it's straight from Italy. Would you believe us if we told you that all of that can be seen inside of 20 miles? Well, it's true, so let's dive right in. Our first stop lets us travel through time to experience the Sheboygan County of the mid-1800s. The Wisconsin Historical Society's Wade House gives their guests the first-hand experience of how families traveled and lived in the early years of the county. When guests arrive at the Wade House Historic Site, they start here at our Visitor Center and the Wesley Young Carriage Museum. But the experience into the past begins when they hop on the carriage rides and once you get down to our historic end of the property, there's lots of things to experience. So we have a working sawmill that's using water-powered saws, which is very cool. At the blacksmith shop, you'll see demonstrations of how they made horseshoes. And then at the Wade House Hotel, you can actually hear, smell, see, and experience what a stay at Wade House would have been like. So not only do you get to see history, but you really get to experience it here. Another important part of Sheboygan County's history is the multi-generational family-owned companies that have helped to shape it since the beginning. Let's check in with Andrea as she catches up with Sargento Foods and the Kohler Company. I'm with Louis Gentine, the CEO of Sargento Foods. So take me back, tell us a little bit about your family history and how Sargento came to be. Yeah, so my grandfather and my grandmother moved up to the Plymouth area back in the late 1930s and actually started a funeral home. That's what brought them up to the area. And then it was in the late 40s when uh, my grandfather started making gift boxes for um, people and companies down in the Milwaukee area that he first started to kind of dip his toe into the cheese making world. Wow, so started a bit differently than how you would think. Yeah, for sure. Uh, 1953, our company was, was founded officially and he partnered with a local cheese maker, Joe Sartori, the Sartori Cheese Company. From the very beginning, they started marketing and selling consumer ready sized packages of Italian style cheeses. What does Sheboygan County have that you might not find anywhere else in Wisconsin? It's home to the cheese capital of the world in Plymouth, Wisconsin, so that's very unique. Over 15% of all the cheese that you find in grocery stores across America comes through Plymouth, Wisconsin. It's great places for our employees, the Sargento family, to raise their family, enjoy their hobbies, and just do the things that they want to do. So it's very important for us to continue to support our community so that we maintain that just energy and that thriving aspect of the county. I'm here with Laura Kohler of The Kohler Company. I grew up in this area, so I know The Kohler Company. Everyone does. I think it started in 1873, right? And that was John Michael Kohler. And you know, our first products were farm implements made out of cast iron. So that was the market right around Kohler were the farmers. And he thought, well, I can create product that they need. And then he evolved that into, I would say, garden implements. So think of more higher design work. And then we moved into plumbing products, which he was making a hog scalder at the time. So he decided, hmm, I think I'll put four legs on that. And it became the bathtub. 
Why do you think Kohler is a great place to work? Why would you say that it's the employer of choice? We really try to deliver meaningful work for our associates and help them get involved in stewardship and sustainability. And also, we are in the state of Wisconsin, which we're really proud of. And what makes this an amazing place to live and work? You know, the environmental aspects, the green, the trails, the biking paths, the, the open water, you know, some of the world's biggest bodies of fresh water are sitting right next to us with Lake Michigan. So all those things to me make it really this amazing place uh, to raise a family or to really uh, live a really healthy lifestyle. Hey, it's Eric Paulson. Happy 35th to the whole show of Discover Wisconsin. I'm proud to have been on it for almost a quarter of its life and I'm very proud and happy to share it with you. Thanks. Welcome back to Discover Wisconsin. If you know Sheboygan and you know good food, then you know about the Sheboygan Hard Roll. They're great split and buttered by themselves, but they're incredible with a Sheboygan Double Brat. Now today we're taking a culinary look at Sheboygan, and we're gonna start by heading down 8th Street and go to Trattoria Stefano and meet with Stefano Violetti and his wife Whitney to talk about their restaurant and a bunch of other must-see foodie destinations right here in Sheboygan. Stefano and Whitney have been at the center of the culinary scene in Sheboygan since opening Trattoria Stefano in 1994, and their influence has only grown as they have opened Il Retrovo, Field to Fork, and now Stefano's Slow Food Market, all on the same historic block of downtown Sheboygan. So what got you so much into food and cooking? My father was involved in a local business here that was in orthodontic manufacturing and one of their strongest partners was in Florence, Italy. And so I would go over there every summer and I just sort of, I guess I started falling in love with their view of food and how much they valued it. I just found it to be such a pleasing cuisine and the simplicity, the, the emphasis on ingredients and the quality of the ingredients and then the simplicity of preparation. You know, if you buy great ingredients, the cooking part is a little simpler then. And that took me some years to figure that out. Another story, well, I was walking through years ago and uh, these big guys that own steakhouse in Chicago were sitting having a big, all having steaks and things, they're eating carpaccio with arugula. And the guy, come here, come here, check that. He goes, why is this so damn good? And it's li literally arugula, beef, curls of Parmigiano-Reggiano, lemon juice and olive oil. That's it. And he said, what, and some sea salt, exactly. He said, why is it good? I said, well, because that arugula was picked this morning by Tom Tittle, our forager up in Two Rivers. And it's here tonight on your plate. It's about what went into that thing's life and what made it special. So having a place like this that's been diversifying with new businesses and everything, you become a leader in the community, especially on the culinary side, but that gets you more involved in the community and clearly there's a lot of community activity going on and giving back. For sure, for sure. We want to support local things and that's what it's really about for us. They're the people that support us. Yeah, they're the people that dine here and, and we're, we're one of those companies that believes in that big time. And I, I think Sheboygan is really special like that. I mean, it's not just us. A lot of the community, a lot of the businesses do that. We hope to keep doing it and hope to keep feeding people and keeping this going. Speaking of community, we discovered that the local food truck proprietors have a long-standing tradition of unofficially meeting up at Volrath Park every Monday night during the warmer months to create a smorgasbord of deliciousness. I got the chance to meet Greg Lee, who runs the Greasy Spoon Restaurant and Euros To Go Food Truck to talk about the event. So it's a beautiful night right off the shores of Lake Michigan. We're in Volrath Park here in Sheboygan. It is Food Truck Monday here. And boy, what a great event, Greg. And you had a role in getting this going. Yep, it's something I'm super proud of. Uh, we're going on 10 years now. I opened a food truck here, and at the time there wasn't any other ones. And then a few others opened up and had the idea of, hey, why don't we park together at uh, one of our beautiful parks? And we picked this location, and we've been very blessed that the town caught on very early, and they know that mm -hmm. every Monday, all summer long, this is where you come to eat at the food trucks. Yeah, it's amazing how many food trucks dot the streets here. And then you have this beautiful area where people can hang out, try different foods, eat different foods. I just, I love the venue here. It's perfect. It's amazing for families. It's an amazing place to come on a date. 
I have little ones and I love coming here with them. And I know so many of my friends and family just love this event because it's just a beautiful way to enjoy Wisconsin summers. Well, the secret is out on Food Truck Mondays, so be sure to add this must-see event to your itinerary when you visit on your own culinary tour of the county. Coming up next, we're checking out some of the courses that have helped make Wisconsin world famous in the game of golf. And we're back with Discover Wisconsin. Hey, whether you have an absolute passion for golf or you're just starting to learn the game, Sheboygan County is the place to be. It's one of the top golfing meccas in the United States, if not the world. And I'm standing right here at Black Wolf Run, one of two destination Kohler golf facilities that bring in people from all over the world, including the Ryder Cup and PGA Championship. Now, if you're not quite to that level, don't worry. There is a course in Sheboygan County for you, no matter what skill level you have. And we're gonna explore a bunch of them today. We're gonna to start by heading over to Whistling Straits and saying hi to Mike. Black Wolf Run and Whistling Straits are both designed by Pete Dye, who focused on incorporating the natural landscape of the area into his designs, which feature the Sheboygan River and Lake Michigan itself. Pete worked hard to ensure that each hole was playable for the amateur, while still remaining challenging to the professional. But one thing is for certain, all players get to enjoy the astonishing views that are available on these courses. You know, the, the golf experience here, it's about quality. And it's not just about quality of the golf course, although that is incredibly important to us. But another piece of that puzzle is the service level that we provide to our guests. We want our guests to come here and feel like we are here to take care of them. In addition to that, you know, we want to provide that same level of experience to our local community. They feel welcome to come out to these destinations that someone from New York flew in from that day as well. Now we're headed across the county to Elkhart Lake for a look at Quiquiac Golf Club's beautiful and unique courses. The thing that makes, I think, our golf course really unique by today's standards is it's very playable. It's got a lot of rolly hills, a lot of, a lot of great vistas but it's very playable for every level golfer. The, the way the golf course was built in 1923, they didn't have power equipment, so they used the lay of the land. So there's a lot of character here that maybe you wouldn't have today by today's standards. Golf really does seem to be a family-friendly sport that everyone can do, and regardless of skill level, this seems like a good course. I think it's something that kind of transcends golf is that you, you're really about spending time together. Golf just happens to be that activity. You can spend a couple hours with your kids and talk to them while you have them out there. It's something that you can do the rest of your life and do it together. Our last stop of this golf tour is in Sheboygan Falls in an excellent par three course called Sunset Hills. So you said this was built in 2000. It's truly a 21st century course. You designed this from what I understand. Sat out on a hill and drew it up about four different ways and decided on this one and it turned out Really nice. Goes down around a figure eight, loops down along the Sheboygan River. You can see the river from seven of the nine holes. Uh, you play right alongside of it. We have a pond, a creek, a lot of obstacles. It's People say it's a par three, and I say, come on out and show me what you can do. So for me, it's a par six. <laughs> What's special about a par three course? Well, a par three course is really gonna make you a better golfer. The shot at the green is where all your scoring comes from. You know, you can hit a drive 300 yards over behind a tree, but it's that shot that you take next that's at the green. So on a par three, every shot is at the green. Rest assured, if you're like me with a skill level closer to none, you wanna try the newest addition to Sunset Hills, a full miniature golf course that's perfect for introducing kids of any age to this beautiful game. And keep an eye on Sheboygan County as the next generation of pros develop their game in the junior golf programs. They're offered at each of the courses we visited today. Can you believe it's the 35th anniversary of Discover Wisconsin? That's amazing. I'm so excited to be part of this. All right, I'll see you later. Welcome back to Discover Wisconsin. With Sheboygan County being right on the shores of Lake Michigan, it's primed for some world-class fishing. And I got the scoop on some of the best charter fishing in the area. So we're here along the Sheboygan River, essentially the port of Sheboygan. The lake is 
mere blocks away, and I'm here at Dumper Dan's with the Dumper himself. How did you get that name? Back when I was a little kid working on a charter boat, I was about 13, 14 years old, I lost some fish in the landing net, and when you lose them in the landing net, you call them dumping them. So they call me Dumper Dan the Net Man way back in the day. This is in the late 70s, and so it stuck. It did, certainly, and now it's your own business. Right here along the river, this is so cool. I mean, you, you backed up against it right off Pier Street here. How long have you had this? This is my 37th year now in business here at Dumper Dan's. Um, I started in 85 right out of high school, um, ran my first year 26 charters, um, and it took a long time to build up where we're at now. What's unique about Dumper Dan's is we're kind of the one-stop shop for everything. We supply all the tackle and all the rods and reels. We also clean, bag, and freeze your fish for you too. So what can people expect when they jump on a charter boat with you and head out there? Well, we're fishing for, I mean, we got a world-class fishery right here out of the Port of Sheboygan. It's all freshwater, Lake Michigan, salmon, and trout fishing. Um, and we troll for these fish. So we put a wide spread of tackle out anywhere from 12 to 20 lines at one time. And we troll a wide area from the surface down to just about the bottom and cover a, a big spread when we're trolling for these fish. And they're fun to catch and, and it's unique. Just the other day we had one come in at 31.86 pounds. Wow. So they get big. Yeah, they do. And they pull out a lot of line and they fight. And I always say when the bobber goes down here, you better hang on tight. <laughs> yeah, it's a struggle sometimes, but that's part of the appeal. We just like the excitement. We like to cater to everybody all over the Midwest. I mean, they come from everywhere to do this. Um, and it's definitely a destination, you know, location for salmon and trout fishing. So yeah, get out here, have some fun and have some excitement and we'll put some fish on the grill for you. If dry land is more your speed, one last place you don't want to miss is Road America. This raceway is a favorite for drivers and visitors from across the globe. We're uh, happy to be here in Wisconsin, probably the greatest track in the United States of America. Literally a thrill to drive this thing here and uh, love this area. The people of Wisconsin, we're wondering who's more friendly, Wisconsin people or Canadians. We're not sure, it's a toss up, but they're all great, uh, but love it here. That's my favorite track. It's my favorite track I've ever been to. I love the flow, I love the speed, um, especially the back section with the trees. Uh, the echo, it's, it's, it's amazing. It's really a great track for Big Red, given the big straightaways and just the big sweeping turns and stuff. It's really uh, good, good for this car. Well, my son loves racing, and this is the best place to be. It is everybody's favorite course, and the reason for that is it's America's National Park of Speed. There's very, very few racetracks in the North American continental United States where you can sit under a shade tree, put your feet in green grass, and watch some world-class racing because everybody's coming here for a good time. Whether they're racing on the track, whether they're working in the media, or whether they're working with the series, we're always here to help them and really show them a, a wonderful time because that's really what racing is. Whether you visit by land or by sea, Sheboygan County is a perfect example of Wisconsin hospitality and has something for everyone to enjoy. It's home to globally recognized companies and some of the world's best food, golfing, fishing, racing, and more. So don't wait to come and experience it all for yourself. For even more fun that couldn't have possibly fit into this episode, be sure to check out our Sheboygan County Shorts, available now on the Discover Wisconsin app or YouTube channel.